When the doctor returned for her, Clara was waiting eagerly. She rushed to meet the TARDIS outside the moment the doctor knocked on her door. When the doctor asked her where she wanted to go, she was stuck at first. She quickly recovered, replying, somewhere awesome. He took her to the Festival of Offerings near Akaton. There, they explored the markets and watched the festival. When Mary G.J., whom Clara had comforted and encouraged to sing the long song at the festival, was taken by the mummy, Clara and the doctor saved her. In doing so, Clara had to give up her mother's ring, which had extreme sentimental value to her. To destroy Akaton, she was forced to sacrifice something even more precious, the leaf that brought her parents together, the most important leaf in human history. After saving everyone on the planet, they thanked her by returning her ring. After the trip, the doctor dropped her back off at her house in London, which she remarked looked different. The doctor later took her on another trip, but instead of landing in Las Vegas as planned, they landed on the Firebird, a Soviet submarine at the North Pole in 1983. While the doctor brought the sinking submarine to safety, the TARDIS activated its hostile action displacement system and it dematerialized, leaving the doctor and Clara on the submarine. They quickly found that the ice warrior Grand Marshal, Skaldak, had been brought on board. The doctor attempted to convince the submarine's crew to be peaceful to him, but Lieutenant Stepashin stunned Skaldak with a cattle prod. The doctor ordered the crew to imprison Skaldak. Clara was sent to try and talk some sense into him, under the doctor's guidance, but discovered Skaldak had managed to escape his capture and threatened to launch the submarine's nuclear missiles. The doctor and Clara managed to make him hesitate his decision and Skaldak and the submarine were rescued by an ice warrior ship. Skaldak left and remotely disarmed the submarine. The doctor then confessed to setting the hads, and found that it had sent the TARDIS to the South Pole. He had to ask the submarine captain for a lift, much to Clara's amusement. At some point, Clara went to Baghdad in 1930 with the doctor, where she met and befriended Amy Johnson. After an adventure, Clara bade a sad farewell to Amy knowing that she wouldn't see Amy again until Amy's death. She soon found a loophole in that her body was never found and, thus, as Amy was drowning a few years later, the TARDIS materialized around her. The doctor and Clara took Amy to Cornucopia. Later, the doctor took Clara to Caliburn House, the home of Major Alec Palmer, which was thought to have been haunted by the Witch of the Well for many years. Unknown to Clara, he took her there to speak to the psychic Emma Grayling and find out what Clara was. The doctor took lots of photographs of the ghost throughout Earth's timeline. The doctor used his photographs to explain that the ghost was, in fact, a time traveler from the future called Gila Takorian, who was trapped in a pocket universe and being chased by the crooked man. The doctor used a crystal from Metabellus III to make Emma open up the portal to the pocket universe. Whilst there he saved Gila but got trapped himself. Clara argued with the TARDIS voice interface when the TARDIS would not let her in, Clara wanting to use the TARDIS to save the doctor while the TARDIS was concerned for its own safety. Later, after revealing that Gila was a distant relative of Alec and Emma, the doctor realized that the crooked man in the pocket universe was trying to get to another creature in the house, so he and Clara went back to pick it up. While the doctor was out, the TARDIS demonstrated her antagonism toward Clara by deleting her bedroom and creating a holographic leopard while she was in the bathroom. It also created multiple versions of Clara simply to annoy her. After this, he and Clara made an arrangement. He would pick her up every Wednesday and they would have adventures, but unlike his previous companions, she wouldn't travel aboard the TARDIS on a permanent basis as she had responsibilities on Earth of being a nanny.